Hey, that's JB, Brick Fanatic here. Today we are going to be building this Lego Star Wars set in the bag. This is a poly bag if you did not know. These retail for $5 in the United States. They're just a small little set, but I'm gonna be going back to my roots of this channel and I'm gonna be building this inside the bag. The reason I chose this set is one, I think it's a pretty cool set and I wanna have it built up at some point. However, it's also a shorter set, so that means it won't like stretch in the bag very much and it'll be easier to build, if you will, and less difficult, whereas if I was trying to build something the tall, it wouldn't even fit in the bag. So this is a shorter build, so it should work in here. Something really interesting I wanna show you uh, real quick is on the lego.com website, because I will be getting the instructions from online, because obviously the instructions are in here and I won't be able to get them out. They call these Lego recruitment bags, which is interesting. I'm not sure why they call it a recruitment bag, but that is what they're called. Let me pull up the instructions here. Here they are and I will be building this in the bag. If you guys want to see the full unedited build of this set, you can see it at the end. I'm gonna be recording the entire thing, so at the end of this video, you'll see the ASMR of the video. You'll hear me breathing and, and, and probably talking a little bit more. Maybe I'll share some exclusive knowledge. Ooh, stick to the end. Watch all the way through if you wanna see that, but let's just get right into it. I'll probably show some progress and then show the final product right now. Here it is. This is the Lego Star Wars Polybag 30386 Poe Dameron's X-Wing Fighter with 72 pieces. I have built it in the bag. It is completely built. I am going to be opening this up. If you want to see the complete live build of this, it's almost 30 minutes of build. This is why this video is so long. Unedited at the end of this video, you can see that. But here we go. Let's open this thing up right now. Everything should be built. And there it is. Oh no, one piece fell off. <laughs> one piece fell off. We'll put that back on right there. But there you go, guys, look at that. So these are the extra pieces. There's a really nice silvery piece here. That's pretty cool. But the extra pieces move those to the side, move the bag out of the way. But here is the X-Wing. I built this in the bag and that was pretty cool. I, I really enjoy doing these sort of challenge videos. Doing this one again really makes me want to continue that trend and do more in 2020 like this. Maybe some more ball suites, which is building a Lego set without instructions. I did that for a couple sets and it was a lot of fun, but this X-Wing is really, really cool. Let me show you just some of the cool little techniques in here. The first one I think is it uses these carrot pieces, which is very unique for this sort of build. I think it works very nicely. Let me compare it actually to the large scale one. Here we have the large scale X-Wing versus this X-Wing. Now there's a big difference because obviously this one's tiny, but it looks pretty good. I think it matches up very nicely. You've got like the little blue and the orange on the wings and the little general triangle shape pattern going on there. This is like the half circle that is used for this bit here. And then you have this little thing on the side. I guess these are the blasters. That, that go on and I think it works out really well. Very nice, very nice build. I think it, it, Lego did a good job with this one in particular. I do again like these carrots on the back. I'm not sure how they're supposed to be. These things, if they were printed, that would be insane or maybe even like a sticker to wrap around here or they dipped it in some sort of print, but here we go. The point of this video isn't a review, it's just basically the building a Lego set in the bag. So right now we're gonna jump to the live build or the non-edited 30 minute long build of this set. I hope you guys did enjoy this video and let's get into that. All right, and let's start building this in the bag. This is gonna be pretty hard and unfortunately the sound is gonna be annoying because I'm crinkling the bag so much, but I will try my best to make it sound good. The first two pieces I need have been put together. There we go. It's that piece there. Uh, I'm trying to point to the instruction manual, but I'm just following the instructions. You can trust me on that. What other kinds of things do you guys wanna see on my channel? So I know I've been doing a lot of hauls. I have the build series coming up on Friday. It hauls on Wednesday, reviews and random videos like this on Mondays, and then I have the build series coming up on Friday. But are there any other types of videos you guys want to see? Maybe, uh, yeah, I don't really know. Um, I have a couple other older ideas. I'm thinking of making Mondays Technique Tuesdays, even though it's, uh, 
Monday. I think that'll be funny to have Technique Tuesdays on Mondays because it's just how I'm uploading currently. I, I don't know if it's a good way to upload or a bad way to upload. That's just how I'm doing it. So I'm, I'm probably going to do that next Monday. You'll see a Technique Technique Tuesday video. Again, going back to my roots, I really wanted to do that because uh, the first few hundred subscribers that I did pick up was for those videos. And now that I've kind of transitioned away from doing all the set reviews because the I've finished all the sets early that I can and everyone else has the sets now, so I would not be getting very many views. Like the channel wouldn't grow any more than it would normally if I make any more set review videos for the new ones. Um, so I'm going to steer away from doing set reviews like that, unless there's a set that I happen to have already and I'm building, but I won't be buying any extra sets for the build purpose for review early, because again, uh, people like Jang Bricks and MNR Productions and Justin from Just Too Good, they already have all the sets and their channels are much bigger than mine, so there's no real point in me trying to compete with that. All right, let's see, I need a one by two to go in here. Uh-oh, I just built it underneath the bag and I need to, there we go. Ooh. All right, now I need a one by two bracket. I saw it, there we go, there it is. The one by two bracket, it's going in. Here we go, we are done with step four. I, step, wait no, that was step six, wow, all right. So now we can move on to step seven. Our instruction manual's kind of in the way, but... Uh-oh. Wait. Uh-oh. 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 Oh no, I poked a hole. Uh-oh. Uh... Be right back. <laughs> this, is, this is not gonna be a cut. I promise it's not gonna be cut. I need to grab tape for this. Uh... Uh... How can I make sure it's not being cut? Let me let me go on YouTube real quick and and play a video. <laughs> I don't know why I don't want this to be cut, but I feel like it, it shouldn't be cut. So we're gonna we're gonna uh, go through a video here in a second. Give me a second. There you go. All right. This is how you're gonna know it's not cut. We're playing a Rich Boy J video. Be right back. <laughs> Gotta get tape. I got tape. I'm here. I'm back. As you can see, I didn't cut that at all. I didn't move anything. I didn't cut it. Okay, I'm back with tape. Okay, I'll watch. finish watching that later. Back to the uh, instructions. All right, sorry about that. This is a little mishap. I'll be putting just a piece of tape over that hole so that nothing else can spill out. Let's get back to building. All right, so step seven? Seven. Whew. All right, so I have, I need that, oh, perfect, the 2x2 two two brick with the 2x2 two two jumper, and then I need the 2 little tooth piece they introduced with Mixels, where did that build go, there it is. Gonna go on top of the pumpkin. I think it looks like a pumpkin. Just don't wanna do that again. Uh oh. There we go, let me get that out of the way. Orientate this correct, it should be facing upright. I guess the flat part should be up on the back of this thing, so we'll put this. Just like that. Now something that's uh, pretty cool is that you guys can do this too. It's a $5 set and if you want to challenge yourself and still have the set, because this doesn't damage the set at all, it just makes the bag look super bad and, and crinkly. So if you if you keep the bags all nice, then maybe this isn't for you. But again, if you want to challenge yourself and build something a little bit different than you have in the past, I highly recommend trying this out 
for yourself. It's a lot of fun and it's again, it's, it's very different from what you're probably used to doing when you build. You got another one of those tooth pieces for the engines. It goes underneath there like that. Bam. Uh-oh, just lost it. I lost it. Oh well, I'll find it later. There it is. Okay, now where's the engine or the giant midsection? So now, now I gotta put this. So what's the orientation? So it's gotta be down on, up rather, on this piece. Uh oh, I just felt the back come off. Gotta put the back back on. Oh no, you know what? It's not clicking down because on the inside there's that piece. I have to get that piece out somehow. Okay, there we go. Phew, okay. That was good. And there we go. All right, now that's clicked down and I have one of these little engine things on. So now let's get the other ones on. I find another one of the round one by one. There's one. And I'll put it on the toothpiece, just like that. Grab this back and put this on there. This is gonna be a long little video at the end of it. I mean, I guess, I guess most of you guys aren't even staying for this part, so. If you are, leave the comment. Hmm. What should the comment be? What should the comment be? How about leave the comment? Step nine is going to be a pain. Just, just that. Step nine is going to be a pain. Because that's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at step nine and it looks like it's going to be a pain. I'm trying to find one more of those tooth pieces. Having everything kind of go down slowly so I can grab it as it falls. There it is. Now I need a one by one in the orange. There it is. If I can't marry these two together. Oops. Uh-oh. Come on. There you go. Thank you. Nothing tore, right? I, now I'm really paranoid about tearing it anymore. Let's see, let's get this over here. This one needs to go on the bottom, which means the flat part needs to go up and bam, look at that. Make sure they're angled right. There we go, check that out. We got that all up on, that's pretty nice. And then the back of it, as you can see, that's how the instructions are. Just like that, so, oops. So now I got to do step nine. Oh, they use carrots, that's so cool. I like that. Let's see, so this bar, actually this isn't, this isn't, this isn't gonna, blah, 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 blah. this isn't going to be as bad as I thought it was going to be. I should do this in a live stream one time. That would be kind of fun. Would you guys like to see that? To see a live stream of me Balsui building a Lego set. Oh wait, no. Wait, in the back, no. Balsui is building a Lego set without instructions. Let's see, there we go. There we go, okay. So we got one carrot on. Oh, that's so cool that they have a carrot. <laughs> that's neat, I like that. All right, let's move on to the second carrot. Boom. Then we need to find the one by one round brick. If you guys know what song that was, leave it in the comments below. I guarantee you won't get it, but. Right, 
I'm looking for another one of those bar pieces. There's a bar and there's a carrot. Perfect. This is going to be an easy video to edit, not going to lie. <laughs> What am I trying to... Oh, this just goes on there. I don't even have to build anymore. Good. I thought for a second I put it backwards and that was terrifying. Because then I'd have to try to take it off. Carrot. There's a carrot came when I called for it. Nice. One by, th or shoot, one by one. Round brick. I would be really surprised if anyone is actually staying watching this right now. Where is it? Where's the... Now I'm just confused. There it is. How is it? How is it hiding from me all that time? There we go. Eh, come on. There we go. All right, got the last carrot on, and then I gotta put this. Now into there. There we go, look at that. So now as you can see, I have all the engines on. Just like that. So now we can move on to the second page. All right, now we can move on to the front section. Got a one by three plate in orange, and then I have a one by six plate in white, and then I have a second one by six plate in white. I'll get that out here. Uh oh, I pinched it again. No, I don't want to poke a hole in the bag. There we go. So that's, that's something you have to try to avoid is pinching the bag because I think that's what pokes a hole in it. But, all right, we should be good for now. Let me find the, there you are, there's the slope. There we go. And then is that a, yeah, that's a one by three pile. Oh, perfect. Just came right to me. Yeah, there we go. All right, so now this is, this is gonna be a, a tricky part. I need to figure out which way I'm gonna put the orientation. I think it's gonna have to be this way. So from now on, this is the way it will be situated. Oh, look how long that is. It, it almost barely fits. It almost doesn't fit in the bag, rather. It barely fits. Almost doesn't. See how hard it is when you're when you're talking like this, and I got to edit all that together. So all the, the videos that are clean and aren't completely unedited like this one will be. I guess the beginning part of this video, it, it, everything flowed together so well, but here I'm kind of just rambling and Honestly, I've been rambling for what, 15 minutes? Oh my goodness. Maybe I'll speed this up. Or maybe I won't. You know what, let's not. Let's not speed it up. Let's see, so this 
silver piece got to go here. That's the droid head, I'd assume, R2-D2. And then I need a cheese slope. Here's the cheese slope. Here's my build assembly. Come on, instruction manual, so annoying. There's the build I'm working on right there. Cheese slope, can do it. And then I need a one by one. Oh, it's right there next to it, wow. All right, cheese slope, you can go there. And then one by one tile. You can flip over. And go right there, look at that. We did it. Now that all that's left is the wings, right? After I put this on. And bam, there we go. Let me put it in the middle here so you can see what I've done so far. There we go. We have the whole thing. I just need to attach all four wings. Phew. Oh, wow. <clears throat> Sorry about that. This is gonna be hard. All right, wings, wings, wings. So I got, how many pieces of the wings? No, it's not bad. All right. So I got that, and then I need to put this telescope piece on the ends, like that. And then I need to put the ski pole into the eyepiece of the telescope, which I just knocked the telescope off, which isn't a good sign, which means it's gonna be pretty fragile, which means we're probably gonna knock it off more than once. And for this video to be like complete, I can't do that. When I open the bag, everything's gotta be attached. See, and then I gotta put another one of these modified plates, and then I gotta put the tiles on it. Orange one goes on the outside here. Don't want to pinch it. And then the blue one goes on the inside. Bam! All right, one down, except I knocked off this thing again. All right, there we go. So this goes... Let me... Oh, man. Oh, this is going to be hard. The ski pole in the... Bingy. What are they called? Keep falling off. Telescope. All right. Come on. Okay, there we go. So it's attached. I got the wing on. I'll probably do the ski poles at the end. I think that's how it's gonna do. How it's gonna go. Seriously, if any of you guys are watching this, that's awesome. I appreciate you. Most everyone's gonna click off in the mo in the first uh, what 45 seconds because the intro is only like 30 seconds and then the rest of it's gonna be just me showing this off and they're gonna be like oh look that's cool he built it in the bag and then leave which is fine that's what I do <laughs> See, orange needs to go on the end wait did I not do that right. No, I did. Okay, good. Orange is on the end. Oh, no way, the blue piece is right there next to it. Bam. Alrighty. So now this needs to go on that. There we go. Two down. I have two wings down. S foils. They're foils, they're not wings.
My hands are gonna hurt so bad after this. What time is it? It's 11.07. You know, it's 11.07 right now. If you're watching this on a, on the day of release, I'm filming this right before it goes up because I'm lazy. Oh, I see some blue pieces. I need to work those down. There we go. You know what? Technically these pieces, other than that one piece that I touched that fell out, these pieces have never been touched by a human. Like physically. Because in the factories, they actually aren't ever touched by a human being until they're opened by the child. So literally, when you open up a brand new Lego set, that is the first time you have it, the, those pieces has ever been touched by human hands, which is really cool. Uh-oh, I knocked off. Oh dear, I knocked off one of those tooth pieces that I had built. I don't know where that is. Oh, there it is. Okay, let's see if I can get that back on real quick. Bam, okay. Last S foil, and then I gotta build the side things. This. And then I need the other. See, I'm building this, I can't even see it right now. It's like black, I'm just, I, I know where the pieces are and I know where it's supposed to go, so I'm working them around so that. Come on, you should click right. There. There we go. So now that side is built. Now I gotta put the tiles on it. Orange goes on the outside and blue goes on the inside. So here is blue. Nope, that's the outside. There we go. And then orange on the outside. Bam! All right, let me flip this around. Tuck it underneath the front. Move the front this way. Put this here. This is a 20, this is gonna be like a 30 minute video. Holy cow. I'm probably gonna have this sped up at some point. All right, there we go. So the whole thing is built. Now all I have to do is build the small little things at the end with the telescope and the There we go, there's one. I like how that ski pole piece is used. It's such a perfect part to use for an X-Wing at this scale. I actually want to see if I can make a super detailed X-Wing at this scale using the ski pole piece. That would be pretty cool. But I think this is pretty good of what you're able to do. And you see in there, there we go. Number two is on. I need two more. All the pieces on it, nope, I need to get all the pieces on the other side. There we go. So, we're almost done. I think doing these real-time things is pretty cool. It, it would have been nice to, to live stream this. I think I'll do that in the future. Live stream some building in a bag. All right, one more, and then we are done. Unless anything else fell off, but I need to find, there's the ski pole. And there's the other one, perfect. Telescope, got them. Line them up, put it in, flip it around. This is going on the top. Oh, that was scary. Okay, it comes with an extra ski pole. Oh, that's cool, yay, I like extra. Extra pieces are always fun. 
There we go. I just clicked it down. No, I didn't. It fell off. Let me put it back. I probably got caught. There we go. Now that's clicked down. Are the other two still on? Yes, they are. There we go, guys. I did it. I've built it. The time is at 2817 right now. I don't know how how long my intro was or any of that, but here we go. That was it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.